Hi everyone, my name is Scott and this is Nathan. And right. maybe you're joining us for the first time. Maybe you have been faithfully following us for almost 60 conversations now, or maybe you're somewhere in between, but we welcome you. We are working through Emotional Intelligence 2.0 Great and person. really enjoying it. Great book. Encourage you to pick it up. We hope that you uh, enjoy it as much as we are. We are working our way through 17, right? 17 social strategies, social awareness strategies. Social so, learning. There's other strategies too. Yes. So. We've looked at, there's two competencies, self-awareness and self-management. And then there's two, that's personal competence. And then there's social competence, yep. which is social awareness and relationship management. Yep. And we are working through the social awareness strategies. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that more for my own benefit to keep it straight in my own head. I hope you also benefit as well. Mm -hmm. So right now we're going to continue looking at these strategies. Number seven is clear away the clutter. And I understand you like this one. Clear away the clutter. Well, I'm a big fan of clearing away clutter anyway. But it's I, I like it too because it's definitely one I've had to learn where it's, you know, when you're in a conversation, don't interrupt the other person until he or she is completely finished squelch the voice that is planning your response mm. it's important to catch yourself in the end because oftentimes we we're only partly listening because what we really want to do is keep speaking and yeah i and it, it definitely changes uh i i think it it, it totally changes the conversation because yeah. when you really hear and listen you're going to pick up on more than just kind of this drone of words. You're really focused in on what's happening and it'll change the, the questions you'll ask. It'll change uh, uh, the dynamic of the connection too. Yep. So. Yeah. He says one skill is simply, again, it sounds like something you may have learned in kindergarten. Don't interrupt the other person until he or she is completely finished. About so that. much is so much is kindergarten practices. It really is. That's beautiful. So clear. Yeah. And and so by clutter is like, and I can relate to this. I've got so much going on in my mind. He's like, just get rid of that and just yeah. zone in to what Nathan is saying. Right. I, I think people think that what they're going to communicate is all the jumbledness in their head and and it's kind of like language vomit. You just sort of just spew it out. <laughs> yes. See? Clear away the clutter. <laughs> yes, and smile. <laughs> that's right. We're practicing smiling. We chose that one together. We sure. did. We did. So that's working well. Uh -oh. Number eight, live in the moment. I, I, I actually think this is a really powerful one. Really powerful. Absolutely. It has um, a lot to do with happiness, too. I think Lifehouse, years ago, sang a song in this direction. I'm hanging by a moment here with you. Hmm. Do you remember that? I, I do recall that, yeah. Great song. Think of the tune, but I can't remember it. I would sing it to you, but I don't want to embarrass both of us. <laughs> I can't remember the tune, and you can't carry a tune? Is That's that correct. <laughs> That's correct. No, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. So being in the present moment, yes. make it a habit. This lifts our social awareness skills. What's going on around me? Um, not imagining where I just was, where I'm going, but trying yeah. to be present with you in this moment. Yeah. I mean, it, it says, you know, of course, we'll reflect on the, the past or the future, but being present takes, believe it or not, it takes practice. Sort of like listening fully to someone. You're, you're kind of listening to what is happening in the moment as well. Paying attention to, well, really, it takes that to be, to, to really, I, I think it makes a difference, especially when we're connecting with God. 
I mean, if we're stuck in the past or we're, we're trying to get to the future, we're, I, I do think it can hinder our sense of, of present connection with God. Yes. You know, that thing. So anyway. Number nine. I like this one. Yeah. Go on a 15 minute tour. Now I wasn't sure where he was going with this idea, but it's the idea if you're, he uses the workplace as an example. Yeah. He says to schedule 15 minutes to maybe twice a week for a month, walk around your workplace. I actually had this, believe it or not, this happened to me this morning. I was talking to a couple people and where I was standing in our office is a place I don't normally stand. And it actually caught me off guard. I suddenly became aware of seeing something from a different, just seeing the office from a different angle. Where were you I, standing? <laughs> I was, I was, I'll, I'll show you later. Okay. <laughs> Not too far from your office, actually. Um, um, but anyway, yeah. it just, it caught me off guard. But his point is more. Uh, I think at becoming sensitive to other people. Remember, it's about social awareness strategies. It, right. So paying I, attention. I, I think the, the, there are several times in the chapter where the word observation was used, or at least some. But I, yes. I do think of it as almost like an, an observation, a little bit like a scavenger hunt, although you don't know exactly what you're looking for. Other than just to say, and I, I remember a while, this was a while ago when Beth was here uh, on our team yes. and she had postcards of, I can't, I can't remember now if it was Czechoslovakia or places that she had visited and had a great time. And I, and I was asking her about it because I had never been to that particular country. And, and it was, it was just great to hear some stories that she shared. So it can definitely help you have that question. I don't know. I don't remember which number it was, but I have a question in your back pocket. I mean, yes. make your questions from the observations you see if you go on a 15 minute tour. Absolutely. So. Excellent. Okay. That takes us to social awareness strategy number 10. 10. Watch EQ at the movies. Love it. What did you see in this one? I thought this was interesting. Yeah, so the the premise is that um, Hollywood capitalizes on some on some social awareness strategies. Yeah, that's what makes movies so lovable and likable. Oh. Is seeing seeing the hero or maybe the common person get into a predicament and then the decisions that he or she makes and just yeah. observing them. So he's, they're encouraging us to observe people in movies because they're often living out some of the strategies. And I, and I think in terms of both sides, I mean, when they're at their best, like, man, this is your most prideful moment or this is, <laughs> uh, this is the, this is the worst moment to say that thing to your spouse or to your child or it's, it's both sides for sure. And yep. uh, like you said, I do think they capitalize on, on revealing the best and worst of, of social awareness. Yeah. And he really emphasizes it. The last sentence in this chapter, he says, believe it or not, watching movies from the land of make believe is one of the most useful and entertaining ways to practice <laughs> your social awareness skills for the real world. It's yeah. quite a statement. So that, when you're practicing that one-liner. Yes. Right? Uh, yep. In fact, I just told my wife a one-liner. You want to, you want to, you remember which, you want to hear which one it was? I uh, sure. I don't know how we got, we weren't talking about the movie, but I was talking about something and I said, he chose poorly. Do you, you know what movie that's from? Um, the other line was, he chose wisely. Well, you, you remember what I movie that was? Lord of the Rings. No, no. Indiana Jones. Oh, Last Crusade. Got it. And the guy, the first guy, the Nazi guy, picks the wrong Christ cup. Right. 
and he, he died. Poorly. So I, it was such a powerful. He chose poorly. Boy, that's <laughs> that's one way of saying it. Yes. Wow. That's okay. perfect. There you go. So sure. Number eleven, last one for today. Practice the art of listening. So when yep. someone is talking to you, stop everything else and listen fully until the other person is finished speaking. It's a lot of common themes in these strategies. It so much is. And I and I think of again going back to Dr. Thompson's book is learning what how we are what did he say paying attention to what we are paying attention to. Pay attention to what you're paying attention to. That's it. Yep. Yep. And if you're just listening to us for the first time, <laughs> go way, way back to number one. That's the yep. first book we did. Yeah. Kurt yep. Thompson. So, all right. So we need to practice, <clears throat> practice our listening skills. Excellent. So this has been a great list so far. And then yep. we'll have 12 through 17 we'll do on the next video. Yep. Yep. All right. So join us next time and we'll finish this chapter out so that we will all be great at giving one liners and listening <laughs> from the movies. See ya.